Hello, my name is William Yu, and I teach American Religious and Cultural History at Columbia Seminary. I think in studying the Presbyterian past, I found a lot to be grateful for and a lot to repent of. And I think what's been exciting, but also bewildering and fascinating and frustrating to me, is studying more closely the contributions of Presbyterians of color. For example, the first ordained Native American to Protestant ministry was way back in 1759, and it was a Presbyterian, the Long Island Presbytery, after too many years of deliberating and debating whether someone of Indian descent, an American Indian, could become a minister, they ordained Samson Occam. And much of his writing reflects on the discrimination that he and his people and other indigenous inhabitants received, not only at the hands of the colonial government, but at the hands of Christian missionaries. And I think these are important stories for us to examine, to listen more carefully. Not so much that we need to disregard or throw away the contributions, the successes, the failures of those white male Presbyterian theologians and pastors who were influential for better and for worse in the making of American Presbyterianism. But if we could also look alongside with them, the yearning, the crying out for justice, the incisive criticism, both of the United States at large and the church. And if we can listen to those voices and hold these contributions and hold these arguments in tension with one another, I think that can help us today to produce a better and more authentic Christian witness 